Hello YouTubers and members of the MIA uh, gaming community clan. Uh, <clears throat> I am posting this video in hopes to get some health. Uh, apparently Microsoft didn't help any and neither did my new computer manufacturer which is sadly Asus. I mean, not sadly, but they like to pull all their issues off of Microsoft and Microsoft wants to send it back. So here are my issues. Uh, for one, when I'm trying to install Java or Windows Movie Maker 2.6, which uh, keep in mind I have I had an HP Slimline PC. Um, it's, I got it in September and I installed Windows 7 on it in November. I was able to install both these products right here, and then I was also able to install uh, Windows Movie Maker 2.6. So uh, don't go to Microsoft's default ways of saying, "Oh, you can't, you can't have this or whatever garbage." So let's just think reasonable as computer geeks to another, one computer geek to another. Moving on, whenever I try to install Java, I will show you exactly what happens, and I will be showing my computer specs too. Uh, it's a brand, it's a gaming machine. Technically, that's all it is. Windows Seven, uh, six four bit. So I'll go through all this, and I'll watch it work. <laughs> okay, there you go. This installation package could not be opened. Verify that the package exists and that you can access it. Or contact the application vendor to verify that this is a valid Windows installer package. Now this is the error message I keep getting for both Java installation from Java.com and uh, Microsoft Windows Movie Maker 2.6. Now the only real difference is I'll show you real quick, and I don't have Microsoft Windows Movie Maker here. I should have it, but it might be in my recycle bin. Uh, the only real difference is this is a EXE file type, I believe, and the Windows Movie Maker one was a MSI file type. Uh, let me see. Da -da 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 -da. Where is it? Let me just sort this out by name. I'll find it real quick. I should have it here somewhere. Oh, well, I'm not going to sit here trying to look for it for you guys. I just want to get on with this video. Okay, anyway. It's, uh... So just take my word for it, I did have it, I can get it again, if that's going to be a big hell of a loop, but it shouldn't be. So now I'm going to show you what whatever message I get when I try to install the life cam. Now I am using life cam right now as a microphone, but usually when I do attempt this, it does it anyway. Without When I uh, uninstall the webcam and unplug it from the USB port. So either way, it doesn't really matter uh, when I do it. So I can get this far, but once it starts trying to download and install, uh, you will see what happens. And it's just really getting in the way. It really is. This is a brand new PC with nothing on it. I uninstalled all the, the Trend Micro that was on this thing that came with it, all the Zeus default software that came with it, you know, how to help you find everything. I took that off. I'm using a, excuse me, a Vera antivirus with malware bytes, uh, malware software. Um, I am also currently running Windows Firewall. As I've stated though, I have the same exact setup on the Slimline, the HP Slimline. As far as I can see, I have no differences. The only one that that one had that this one didn't is it had Microsoft uh, .NET Frameworks version 1.1. But the reason that had it was because it needed, uh, what do you call that software? Oh, jeez. Okay, here's the error message. Uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, .NET Framework 1.1. No, no. Um, the Print Shop Deluxe uh, version 23 needed, uh, yeah, the Frameworks version 1.1. But see, here's the error message. 
Setup cannot continue because an error expected an ex unexpected error <laughs> has occurred. And it gives you a web address. Now I did go to this and I tried to follow everything and yeah, without success, obviously. Uh so if you guys know what could I try? I mean I'm willing to try anything. Uh here's my setup as of now. Um on a Zeus desktop PC uh number C G five two seven five uh, my rating is 4.9, my processor is Intel Core i5 CPU, running at 2.3.2 uh, GHz, um, 8GB RAM, 64-bit operating system, and the rest is just in the name or whatever, and yes, I'm Tiffany, there you go, have one. Um, don't know what else I should need, would need to show you guys, uh, just let me know, this will be posted on both YouTube and on the uh, forum for those in, who know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> so this is uh, Skipzoa and hopefully you can help me. I would appreciate it. And I am out.